the practice session, uh, just focusing on lag and release and using larger muscles. The arm lags behind the large muscles. Your large repeatable muscles, your strong muscles, do the work. The arms along for the ride. a deeper basket too. Uh, about a 300 foot ring. This didn't go far enough, didn't use any arm. I'm gonna focus on the same exact thing, but I'm gonna shift a little bit faster and still try and get my lag and release. Uh, still throwing putters. Been high, probably 18 foot or 15 foot or something like that. A couple of mids. Just focusing on lagging and releasing, allowing the disc to stay behind my body's weight, and then my body's weight controls everything and then the disc whips past my body. Uh, this disc won't hyzer, uh, it's a flippy like baseline mid. Um, so I could take this inside gap or I could really try to continue my arm going up, 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 but I'm not gonna activate my arm. I'm gonna allow my body to move from low to high to get a hyzer. Go past the basket, but happy with the flight. Same thing, a couple more stable but straight discs. Totally missed my line. Uh, which means I can allow my smaller muscle groups, my arm, my hand, my wrist, the small muscle groups to now guide the shot a little bit. Um, not really trying to follow through necessarily because I'm trying not to activate my arm. So let's see if I can get it closer.
would have gone past the basket, but I'm not unhappy with the play. Uh, last few mids, I'm going to try and just ace it. Just, again, incorporating a run-up. I'm not trying to go too fast with my run-up, but if you're trying to transfer body weight and momentum, maybe speed will help. Not very good. Same thing. Now with a less overstable disc, but I'm going to hit the same exact line. Maybe get a little bit more height. If that goes in, yeah. Not great, but closer. Now, very seasoned mid range. Um, and now I'm going to have to really focus on the angle because of how seasoned the disc is. Um, but maintaining that angle is easier for me to do if, sorry, listen to a podcast, um, is easier for me to do if I allow some of the small muscle groups to guide the disc, but they don't do anything to add power because I'll get tighter with my small muscle groups. I'm still trying to be intense with my large muscle groups, but I'm trying to not be tense. So intensity without tension will add to fluidity. Um, if you if you have studied any throwing mechanics uh, like baseball, you understand that you have to connect the the ground to the hand which happens from the feet all the way through the kinetic chain up let's see if i can do that um, if not it's not a big deal because i don't know this disc all that well i do know it's seasoned um, so i'll try and maintain a hyzer angle and move it from right to left but it'll be kind of hard with this disc being as it is seasoned slippy Ways past the basket, but still a good shot. Um, it's really hard whenever you have a technical focus if you focus on too many things. Um, I'm gonna play this entire round with just these focuses. Uh, again, to recap, my focuses for the round, for me, for, for my personal practice, um, but this will help you as well if you have two legs, two arms, uh, in disc golf we're not really reinventing the wheel uh, we're very much applying what is known from other sport that has been studied professionally and applying it to disc golf um, I don't think there are any secrets in disc golf but it does take a lot of work um, so today what I'm working on is just transferring my weight back with my large muscle groups so for me today, my main focus is my legs and hips. Um, and I'm not really focused on rotation, but I am trying to transfer my weight back and then transfer my weight forward. Rotation will happen to a certain extent, um, but those are my only two focuses. Transfer weight back, transfer weight forward, and then allow the arm to lag and release. That may sound like two focuses, but I'm just trying to get the feel to accomplish that. Um, it would be cool to get a putter to this basket and maybe even ace it. I'll try that. Down to uh, some putting putters. Uh, I traded 
this one, uh, Kevin Jones wanted one of my M2s and offered me like 200 bucks for it, but money, you know, he's able to get discs easier than he is money potentially. So I just traded him a bunch of discs. So he gave me a whole stack of Prodigy discs. I didn't really like any of them. Uh, the A2 is okay. The PA3 is a pretty good putter. Uh, I know a lot of people trash on Prodigy, but um, they make some good discs. I haven't found any of their high speed stuff that I like uh, ever. Um, I have gotten some aces like with a D1, it was cool. Uh, but it was a D1 that was released. I traveled with Cameron Coleglazer, an ice cold player that I wish was still playing. Super talented guy. Um, Cameron was nine in the world, rating wise, but also how they used to do the points in like 2013, 2014. He was nine in the world before he had played disc golf for one year. Uh, great athlete, but. He was a pitcher. Uh, baseball translates really well. Um, this is kind of a baseball. Uh, these are baseball fundamentals, kind of, but they also relate to traditional golf, ball golf, tennis, um, javelin. Uh, I haven't released any javelin videos yet, but it's something I've studied pretty extensively as as a professional coach. Um, but most of my background as a professional coach is, is tennis. Uh, but yeah, um, if I can get a putter there, putter there, I'll be pretty happy about it. Uh, this PA3 I used a lot. I got my first lefty win, uh, putting, lefty putting. I didn't do the whole tournament, uh, left-handed, but I did putt the tournament left-handed. Uh, I got my first lefty putting win using this as a putting putter, which is cool. Um, but, uh, I'll throw a couple of discs that really aren't supposed to take the hyzer line and I'll really try and maintain my body's momentum um, and worry less about my arm. Um, my arm is just along for the ride of my body's weight and momentum. Let's see if I can get it. If not, no worries. Hope the video helps guys. Um, these concepts are applicable to you today if you practice. Um, what I shadow stroke in my personal warm up and, and I just rolled up uh, but I did some dynamic stuff to warm up small muscle groups and large muscle groups but um, what I'm trying to relate to you today is how easy you can get distance this is not a super far hole but um, it would be very impossible if I was very very tight and arming the disc um, use your body and use what professional sport has found to be true um, across a large number of sports. Uh, disc golf is still new, uh, and we haven't we haven't found the the, the perfect uh, mix. Uh, obviously, your body type and things. If you're you know super uh, top heavy, and maybe maybe arming it a little bit more would be fine. Um, but really, where your center of gravity is dictates where you can generate power from. The hips are important. The legs are very, very strong compared to the arms. So use large muscle groups because they're more repeatable. Um, I can go low to high with my legs. I can go back to front with my hips. And then if I combine those two together, going back to front, low to high, um, a number of things can happen if I allow my athleticism to come out and just feel what you're trying to do rather than thinking about it as much. Um, it takes some thought process and then it takes a lot of muscle memory. Uh, let's see if I can, I can dunk this. If not, no worries. Hope it helps, guys. There's water on this side of the fairway. It probably went right in the water, but it's retrievable. Um, last one, same same type of putter, maybe a little bit more stability. I know it's a judge, but it's less seasoned. Uh, same thing, I'm just gonna try and maintain a little bit more low to high angle.
and that was terrible. Um, I know from what I've studied in my personal film, but also from what I felt that I came over the top instead of maintaining the angle integrity, going from low to high. My arm, if you're trying to throw hyzers, it's really hard. If you don't maintain low to high with a straight or flippy disc, you can get away with a lot of things if you go out and play with overstable discs. But I think overstable discs tend to mask some technical flaws that you may be able to overcome if you just focus on proper mechanics. Um, hope it helps, guys. Check back. Um, do like and subscribe. It really helps get the channel out there. I've had an overwhelmingly positive response for the most part. Um, but yeah, just a short video, quick tip. I'm going to get in this course because it's gorgeous today. Um, yeah. Get out there, play some disc golf, go practice. Uh, don't get frustrated. This is a this is a game of pursuing perfection, but it's a perfection pursued through repetition of your body. Uh, and try not to allow your mind to get in the way of your body. Once you have quality information that you can translate to your physical body from your mind, just get the reps. Keep practicing. Um, there's an old joke, it's really funny, uh, I think, but I have like a kindergarten teacher perspective in terms of what comedy is, but uh, yeah, I gotta leave the joke for another time. It's about Carnegie Hall and how you get to Carnegie Hall. Old boy says, practice man, it just takes practice.